hope it stays working. It's, uh, I don't know. It's pretty warm right here. Uh, when I went to, uh, I turned it on three minutes ago, and it's like sitting there going, no, no, no. So I scrolled down. It says, having trouble connecting, not your fault. Okay. So then I refreshed it, and great, it's loading and stuff. Down in the corner, it says, waiting for Facebook. What? I don't broadcast through Facebook. Uh, Jill, it's, I don't know, 303? Let me double check. Yeah, it's 303 in Parker. <laughs> what time is it in Sierra Vista? Sonia with a J is here. Welcome aboard. Lewis and Clark is here. And maybe Rachel. <laughs> Toby's here. Kyle is here. Georgian is here. Welcome aboard, everyone. Um, oh, no. I'm sorry you're in pain. I got to put Kyle's chip in the bowl. Because he was in with, I don't know, a few days ago. He came up with a word or two. I wrote it down. I'll find it. Jim is here. Welcome aboard. We get a few more in here. I got a story to tell. It's more of a nostalgic thing. I'm over here again at the project. Doing some more digging today. Not a lot, but enough to say I did. <laughs> And, uh, well, it was actually last night that I got to thinking about it. When I was a little kid, and Kyle, Kyle can tell you, I'm sure he grew up the same way. But uh, it was always a search for rocks, broken concrete, because, you know, Dad had, uh, found your chip, Kyle. Dad had fence posts and other things that sink in the ground and, you use rocks around the base once you sunk the post or whatever in the ground, then that would be your, uh, uh, you wiggle it around, get it level and plumb. So my job was to look for rocks to do that. And then my mom loved rock gardens. So guess what? I was always looking around for rocks. I'd, I haul them home from farmers' fields where the farmers had piled them up under a tree out in the middle of a field or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, it, it kind of brought back nostalgic because I'd say, I want to say, "Hey, mom, hey, dad, there's more effing rocks down here than you could shake a stick at." <laughs> All right, let's see here. Notes for Camp Andra 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 Andromeda. That's what our campsite is called, Camp Andromeda. No, it doesn't say that on the map. But the guy that's been going there for the last five years, that's what he calls it. So guess what? <laughs> Tomorrow morning, uh, Joe and I are going to the DMV and see if we can't get some paperwork started on this Chevy. Maybe even get a permit. We'll see. Okay, Kyle is in with puzzled perpetrators. <laughs> and the phone's beeping. Oh, that's because it's closing apps. Because it's overheated. I was thinking about trying to put up a piece of shade behind this laptop. I think it might be okay. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I hope you're recovering well, too, George, or uh, Sonia. Uh, Renee is here. Welcome aboard. Puppies is a P word. Let's see if I can find George Hands. Oh. 
piece of quartz. <laughs> I don't know why that was in there. At least the chips aren't blowing off the table tonight. I got you, George M. Jim perpetually perplexes me with his platitudes and poignant points of interest. Now we can put lots of people. You are noisy. My goodness. <laughs> right through the ear. Um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Where's Gord's? Where is Jim's chip? Let me look. I know it's here somewhere, Jim. <laughs> So maybe tonight, after dark, I've got to try to get a hold of those YouTube people again that, you know, answered me the other day, but they haven't, they said, well, these are the people you need to talk to at YouTube. They, you know, they forward my messages. And I haven't heard a damn thing back at all. There you are, Jim, you are in. Purposes, Nancy Drew. Found the shells. Nancy Drew. What the heck was that? Oh, it's okay. It's my ding dong wrapper. The wind just caught it. But I don't think it's going to go very far. So, uh, Joe might call me. He's in a meeting right now in Yuma. And uh, after that, he's going over to Home Depot. And he might have a question or two for me. I gave him a lot of information, so he should be fine. But we changed things around a little bit on this uh, fence project, gate project, if you will. And I'm kind of glad because... I was digging next to the house to want to put a post right next to the house. Ain't happening. I ran into the footing. Now, so I, I sent him a chat message. I said, so, Kyle, you're going to be surprised at this. I, I sent him a thing. I said, so how deep do you guys go with your footings down here? I thought I figured he'd say at least two foot. You know, 16 inches, Kyle. <laughs> 16 inches for footings. I guess they're not too worried about frost heat around here. Can barely get started. Oh! I don't know how long it'll last. The thing said it was closing down because it's too hot. Good morning, Dave. I don't remember. How about you? I don't remember. Okay. I I All right. I love you. Love you, too. Okay, so good night, sweet dreams. I love you, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll talk to you tomorrow, then. Okay, love you. Yep, love you, too. Bye. Bye. Okay. She probably forgot that I go live at this time. I missed your two words, Sonia. Okay, let me let me get your chip, and I'll go back and look. I think I had your chip. There it is. You're in. Let me. Uh, it might be the phone. Yeah. Did Kobe misspell a word? Okay. Reach your ears off during a live stream. You're right, Kobe.
pretty plasma. That's a good one, Michigan Carol. I still got to find Sonia's just for fun. I was cracking up last night on uh, Ron Darrell's live stream that Lance didn't know who Big Giant Bulb was. <laughs> Okay. There you are, Michigan Curl. Got you. Nancy Drew is in with porpoises. Didn't I just put you in, Nancy? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you're in. But now you can be in with more, right? Jim says, trust me. Feeding about getting a pet platypus. Good one, Kobe. Let me find your. Let me find your chip. I think the bird is picking on the dog. Oh, Kobe, where's your chip? There it is. You are in. Pretty plasma. Piercing tweet. I got you, Sonia. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, okay, now I think we are possibly caught up. If I'm not, somebody... Oh, uh, fairy dust is in. Just had hers. I got you, Brene. And pasture. Okay. Okay, who doesn't, who's not in? Linda Barker, she's not in, but she will be because we've got so many P words. You're in, Linda. Okay. Prank, call me. Yeah, that's a P word, too. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, I think I might be caught up. I don't know. Let me look. I miss Kobe's. I got it. No. Uh, does Lewis, Lewis have one in yet? If he doesn't, I'm going to put one in anyways because we got so many. Got yours in, Lewis. Purple people walking the plank. <laughs> George Ann, prismatic. We got so many words now. John Black, welcome aboard. Where's your chip? You are in, John. I don't know how we're going to do Q, Carol. <laughs> Although there's a lot of Q words. And there's not too many in the book. <laughs> so I think we'll go through the Qs pretty quick, quickly. That's a Q word. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. This thing is just driving me nuts. Gord is here. Welcome aboard. Nate is at eight. Okay. That's good to know. Camping full time and loving it. That's great, John. Fantastic. Ahoy, Nate. I'll, I'll find your chip in just a second. All right. Got to find some new horizons. I got to find... Uh, Gourds, it's here somewhere. I know it's a black one, but where is it? Ouch. <clears throat> okay, so my arm is sweating. Oh, ouch. <laughs> That's twice now. My arm is sweating, and I reach across the chips. 
and the chips stuck to the bottom of my arm. Uh, wait, I think I see it. Yep, no, that's Nate Dogs. There it is. You're in, Gord. And who else was I supposed to put in? Nate. Nate's given us Q words for next, whenever we get to the Q words. I don't know if it'll be next week. It might be two weeks. Where is Nate? Justin, Justin and Christina. Kevin's. Is this Nate? No. Hang on. Can't be that hard. There's TGIS, Chip, but I haven't seen her in a while, although. Uh, Badge was talking about her last night. I guess they did some camping. It's the same place that I guess is actually shut down now due to abuse by what Badge referred to as hobos. That's sad when your favorite campground gets shut down because people abuse things. Still looking for uh, Nate's chip. <laughs> it should be obvious. You know, almost every chip laid out right side up. Now that's a fine how do you do? How come I can't find Nate's ship? Hmm. This is silly. All right, I wasted enough time. Use these. I can't believe it. It'll be the last one I come to. <laughs> what are these two? There's Paula's. All right, I'm going to put Paula's in and pretend it's Nate. <laughs> Work anyways, right? All right, now I've missed a whole lot of chat. <laughs> Don't start with a pineapple on the pizza. <laughs> I haven't had pizza in a while, but I'm not, I'm not hankering for it right now. Uh, hey. These are long shorts. I wish I could find I, I have short shorts, but they got to go to the laundry. And the ones I was wearing two days ago, they ripped completely. So I can't wear those. Not in public. And if I wasn't in public, I wouldn't wear them anyways. <laughs> um, you are one noisy bird. Um... I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, I pretty much got to do laundry, although I think there's still one more pair of shorts somewhere. I just didn't look for them today. Well, Brene, I suppose you might if they're anti bare breast where you live. But well, other than that, the shorts wouldn't wouldn't cause you a problem.
Well, I'm fine with all your pieces, and then you're missing a letter and an ingredient. <laughs> all right. Well, let me look here. Make sure. Yeah, pineapple pips, peeps. Oh, yeah, pineapple pizza. I just saw William's chip. There it is. Okay, you're in, William. Oh. <laughs> and welcome aboard, by the way. I, I know there's people been jumping on, and I haven't even said hello yet. And Jill's here somewhere. I'm going to put her in because we had plenty of P words. She may have even had one herself, and I missed it. Ooh, that sounds gross, Carol. I know that that happened. It happened in Grand Rapids a few years ago. It happened to police officers. I don't know how how it went over, but it was sad. I'm going to find Nate's real chip laying in the street, maybe. <laughs> that is strange. Mobangs, Lances, Mega Van Mikes, Traveling Tims. Who knows? <laughs> Pineapple and pepperoni. See, now, pepperoni, I don't really care for. I'd rather have sausage and pineapple and extra cheese. That's my go-to kind of pizza. You keep, uh, now it won't even open the phone. I got to put it down there in the shade. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is. I mean, it feels about 82, maybe 83. There's a little breeze, but not a lot. Um, and of course I'm sitting Oh, it's kind of cloudy too. It's not. It's not full, clear blue sky. It's it's slightly cloudy. I saw um, one of those vertical takeoff and landing um, planes just a few minutes ago. It's pretty cool looking. But I think we saw it at dusk last night, and it was basically just kind of hovering in one place. It was kind of freaking freaky. But on the other hand, we don't know really what we saw because it did not have any lights on it. It was right at dusk. But from Camp Andromeda, my, my neighbor saw it first. Can you see that? Yeah. And then I got out the telephoto, and when I zoomed in on it, it looked a lot like a vertical takeoff type of plane. But I couldn't get it. I tried to take a picture of it, but you know how it is when you're holding a camera and you've zoomed in on something. It's hard to focus and hard to keep it steady on the uh, object. And the object was moving as well. Oh, what type of crust? Oh, I like the cheese crust like Pizza Hut does. The crust is actually filled with cheese. Uh, that's the kind I like. Phil, welcome aboard. Where is your chip? I just saw it. There you are, right on top. And I should know yours from now on because it blew off the table the other day and the neighbor found it this morning. So it's got a little bit of desert dust on it. <laughs> All right, world according to Briggs. Trailer traveling. Oh, hi, Phil. Okay, Lord saying hi to Phil. I don't really care for crispy crust. Not that much. I'd rather have it soft. Especially. <coughs> you know, you get the pizza and it's nice and hot. And the first slice or two that you have, you've eaten the crust. Then you take a little break. Pretty soon the pizza's cooling off and you get to the crust on the third slice and it's not all that good. And it's getting hard. Well, I don't do hard crust. 
Military C-130 low, yeah. Well, you know, you can see forever out here, too. Um, I'm guessing that that vertical takeoff was probably heading down to, uh, there's, a, there's a base in uh, 29 Palms. That's California. I believe that's about 70 miles from here. And then there is another base, of course, closer to the border, which is Vandenberg. That's where they launched the other night, uh, the uh, SpaceX. And then if you go a little bit inland in Arizona, but south, you've got the uh, uh, Huachuca Air Force Base. Uh, Yuma has the Proving Grounds which is army base, but they have a lot of planes, including C-130s. Tucson has a um, uh, Air Force base, small one, but it's there, and they do training from there. So we see C-130s pooping people in the Tucson area. I should say more specifically, uh, Marana. You know what, John? I'm kind of hankering to see the West Coast, too. It doesn't look like it's going to be this year that I get to the Pacific Ocean, but maybe next year. Same thing with Grand Canyon. I thought I was going to go to the Grand Canyon this year, and no, it's getting scratched off the list. But see, Grand Canyon was on my list before I knew about the eclipse. So now I'm turning around and going back east out of Arizona to Texas for the eclipse. And then my friend Susie left England this morning. Well, morning, morning hour time would probably have been afternoon her time. She left Heathrow, well, it was about eight hour time. Now I forget. Flight from Heathrow to Florida, or maybe she had to go to New York first. I don't know. But doesn't that cross the Atlantic flight usually take around six hours? Anyways, I'm guessing she's at her aunt and uncle's in St. Augustine now. And she's going to be there for three weeks. So once the eclipse is over, it gives me about maybe 10 days to somehow get to St. Augustine. It's going to be tight budget. I'm hoping I find some work in Texas. Although when I was in Alano the last time, there wasn't any work in the Alano area. But maybe Fredericksburg or maybe Waco, somewhere in there. You know, or uh, Austin. I could try the Austin area. Yeah, she left this morning from, uh, from uh, the British Isles. British Isles, United Kingdom, <laughs> wherever that is, Heathrow Airport, that's in London, England. She left there about 8 o'clock this morning. She sent me a text. Now, I haven't heard from her this afternoon, but she's probably burned out, probably asleep. <laughs> and plus, reuniting with her aunt and uncle, whom I don't think she's seen in many, many, many years, you know. I don't know. It's not, you know, I've never really asked. I just know they live in St. Augustine. And I think they're getting up in years. Um, Kobe says, I wish it was only six hours. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I've never flown across the ocean like you have. So you're our resident expert now. Thank you, John. We will. And you too. <laughs> Stick around. You might win something. I'm about ready to start reading from the book because most everybody's got their chip in. Um, and if not, we'll get their chip in before we do any drawing, of course. Um, Chicago to Germany was 13 hours. Owie. Maybe you were on a slow plane. Take it easy. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. I just popped into my head. This was cold when I took it out of the uh, cooler. It's not so much cold anymore, but at least it's wet. 
And I don't know where the cap went to. Found it. <laughs> William, did you hear my story I told about when I was a little kid? If you didn't hear it, I'll repeat it. It has to do with rocks. Okay. Am I on the right page? Okay, we did Philippics was the last word we did the other day. Okay, we are on the word philosopher. Surgery done in the next couple weeks, fully healed. Kenya is 23 to 30 hours. I can't imagine sitting there excruciating pain for that long. Holy cow. So you're going to Kenya next? Is that for spring bake break, Kobe? Thank you, John. Well, now I missed something. He was speaking with Brene. Oh, yeah, Oregon. That's going to be on my list for next year, too. Because June, I'll be in Michigan in May, and to come back out to Oregon is just not going to work. I've got to work on the bus. i got to work on the cottage. Um, and then preparations for M24. Uh, praying that we get to go to Beaver Island for that job. And then there's going to be school EUP. And then, of course, M24. After M24, then... Chances are I'll be either heading south again to Florida, maybe, South Carolina, I don't know, or beeline southwest. I, I'm just not 100% positive yet. I guess it's just a little too far out in the future. And things do change, as we know. I was planning on going to Sierra Vista before I went to Texas. Now it looks like it's going to be straight across you know, uh, basically I-10, although still try to take side roads, uh, you know, Arizona, New Mexico, and then Texas, and then south when I get into Texas. Okay, philosopher. Picture rocks. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I want to go to Pictured Rocks again. And I want to do, I want, I definitely want to be climbing that sand dune, but from below, not from above, and have to climb back up. I want to get off in the water and climb up the dune as far as I possibly can and then slide back down and get in the boat. <laughs> then maybe we can go to Grand Marais as well. Is, is Troy here? <laughs> okay, philosopher. How did the philosopher come to be called that? The Greek word for wise is sophos, and the sages of Greece were once called that, but Pythagoras thought this word was too arrogant, and so added the word philos, meaning loving. I think we did this one before. So philosophos, or philosopher, is therefore a lover of wisdom. Okay, I know we didn't do this next one. Oh, yes, we did. Phony, we did phony. Pick a ninny, yeah, and pick a poke, pig iron, pigeon English. Yes, we did all these. Pin money? All right, I don't think we did pin money. What is the origin? I don't know what that noise is. It could be a helicopter. What is the origin of the term pin money? When pins were introduced at the beginning of the 16th century, they were made of silver and considered quite a luxury. For this reason, they were used as gifts on New Year's Day. In time, instead of giving his wife a gift of pins, the husband merely gave her the money to buy the pins. 
<laughs> See, they did that back then too, huh? Then the term was extended to signify the sum of money a man gave his wife each year or upon their marriage for her private expenses. And finally, pin money became recognized in law and a wife could sue to collect, but only for one year's pin money. Never heard of that. <laughs> You're not saving anyone else, okay. Well, maybe we could get Nate and Paula to come. <laughs> and Paula can save all of us. <laughs> Psychologically, that's a P word. But your, your curse already in, Kyle, because last week you came up with P words. <laughs> I, I told everybody else, but maybe you weren't here. Let me look. Yeah, I do have to buy toilet paper. Yeah, Kyle, your words were puzzled perpetrators. <laughs> I think you might have came up with that on Saturday. I don't remember. <laughs> Consultation goes well. That you can make that trip to Kenya. Ah. Pin money in Boeing. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Got a pop up in the way. Direct weather. Diane's here. Welcome aboard. Physiological. Okay, where's Diane's? Oh, I saw it a little while ago. There it is. You're in, Diane. you too all right pinchback never heard this one how did the pinchback bottle get its name a pinchback bottle or other object is a showy one the name comes to us from one christopher pinchback a london watchmaker who invented an alloy of copper and zinc that looked like gold You gonna drive in a Land War Land Rover, Kobe in Kenya? I watched an interesting uh, YouTube thing yesterday. I wish I should have saved the name for you. Oh, if I pin money on Pat and told her that's all for the year, I'll get slapped and thrown out. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm missing something. Ah, oh, it's going too fast. Oh, Sue, you are in. There. <laughs> Excuse me. I might sneeze. The sun is hitting my nose just right. Oh. A couple of land safaris, water safari, and despite my fear of heights. A sunrise hot air balloon safari. Oh, my. Oh, my. That is amazing. That is amazing, Colby. I can't imagine doing that. But, uh, anyways, this show I watched on YouTube last night, they found Land Rover number one, the original one that first rolled off the assembly line, they, they finally found it. It was in a barn somewhere in, in the United Kingdom. A barn that didn't even have a roof. The, the, the years, you know, it had been in this barn for probably 40 years. And it was it rusted and looked worse than my truck. Seriously. It was, it was broken half. It was just nothing left of it. But believe it or not, they purchased it from the people that had it. Uh, and then it went for auction at Sotheby's, I believe. They show it. It's in its piss poor condition, sitting in the middle of a showroom with, you know, uh, cordons around it. P 
people looking at it. And I believe the, the license plate was RU 477. So they call it RUI or RU. Uh, and they, that license plate was actually intact. Um, and still on there today. <laughs> but anyways, whoever bought it was, you know, multimillionaire and also a lover of Land Rovers. And he had it restored, but in a special way. You would think, oh, new metal, new frame, new this, new that. No. Basically, they got it running. So it was drivable. But as far as restoring it, painting it, none of that. No. They just basically put it back together with what they had. And then, instead of that thing being in a parade or put in a museum, no, they drove it across the Mojave Desert. I think it's Mojave or the Gobi Desert, somewhere across the ocean, not in the States, not in Mexico, not in Arizona. It was in the, the Gobi, Gobi, I don't know. It was over there somewhere. But, I mean, this Land Rover is still running. It ran just as well as a new one. Okay, who am I missing? What am I missing? A pair of binoculars with video cam. Ooh. I didn't know they even made those. No vehicle looks worse than my truck. I don't know. I used to look up that thing about Land Rover. Rui 477 was the license plate, but I don't think that was the name of the show. Just type in Land Rover and you'll find it. The original Land Rover. I think uh, the serial number on it was 36001. Uh, they, were, they started manufacturing them, I think, in 1948. Out of all the crazy things he did, it wasn't jumping out of a plane or off a skyscraper that did him in. He simply said, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to make that into a short. What's it doing there? Okay, cool. Way cool. All right, next. Platform. What is the reason we call a political party's statement of its aims a platform? A political candidate must appear before his constituents in order to win their votes. To be seen and heard, he must stand upon a platform. The platform is constructed of planks. From this, the statement of political faith upon which he stands or falls is called a platform, and in its various parts are known as planks. Well, from this part of the standpoint, they can all walk the plank. <laughs> Roman Reckless, who drives an old Land Rover Defender. Yeah, I've heard of those. There was, I almost watched some of those last night. Shit's about going down in chat. It's dangerous to say that word on YouTube. Yeah, you're probably right, Kobe. Hey, it was in the book. All right, next is pleased as punch. Why do we say we're pleased as punch? Because in the standard Punch and Judy show, Punch carries a stick with which he belabors Judy. And then he bursts into screams of laughter. Okay, I never heard this. I barely know Punch and Judy. <laughs> All right, plebes. Pot sticker is your word. Close to pot liquor. Yeah, I got you in anyways because of uh, so many early on P words were. You know, basically the next 10 people that come in don't have to even come up with a P word because we've got plenty of them in excess. <laughs> Nine to midnight tomorrow. Good time to get some YouTube work done. Boy, I sure hope I can get some progress made, I tell you. They just don't answer you. <sighs> All right, please. How did the freshman of Annapolis come to be called plebes. 
The students of the United States Naval Academy at Annapolis started calling the first year men plebes as a shortened form of plebeium, which comes from the Latin word for the common people. Freshmen, of course, just means new or fresh. Okay. <laughs> plucky. What is the reason we call a brave man plucky? The pluck is that which is plucked from the innards of a bird or an animal preparatory to serving it at the table. The heart, the gizzard, the liver, and guts. A plucky man is one who has guts. And we use both terms to mean emotional stamina and stability. Okay. <laughs> There was a lot of us who peed earlier. <laughs> Good one, Jim. <laughs> How about licking the beaters off the mixer while it's running? That would be pretty plucky, right? <laughs> We've been waiting for Captain since three. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I have three o'clock, 349 here. Well, you thought it meant 3 o'clock Eastern time? <laughs> well, 3 o'clock Eastern time is 6 o'clock your time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Plus fours. How did golfers' short pants come to be called plus fours? Ordinary knickerbockers or knee breeches were not full enough at the knees to allow a full swing in playing golf. So in making golf knickers, four inches were added to the length of the seam to allow the knickers to hang over the knee and thus give the player enough slack. The tailor's notation for this was plus four. <sighs> plus fours. I'll be daggone. All right, point blank. Huh. That's weird, Kyle. Because StreamYard shows 3 o'clock. And it should show 3 o'clock on YouTube as well. All right, point blank. Where did we get the expression point blank? From the French, the center of a target was once a small white spot, and the French for white is blanc, which always confused me. Blanc sounds like black to me. <laughs> anyway, the French point means aim, so the term literally means aim at the center of the target, point blank range, is a range so short you can hardly miss a bullseye. Ten more minutes. And we still got a lot of peas to go. So we'll definitely be doing these peas for the next week, maybe two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably another month before we get to the queues. Okay. Poke bonnet. Poke bonnet. Homeland? That's crazy. Like in the beaters. <laughs> okay. Um, poke bonnet. Why is poke bonnet called that? This bonnet got its name from the fact that the front of it poked out far beyond the face. A bonnet that didn't do so was called a kiss me quick. <laughs> I gotta read that again. Why is a poke bonnet called that? The bonnet got its name from the fact that the front of it poked out far beyond the face. A bonnet that didn't do so was called a kiss me quick. <laughs> That's cute. Who 
leisurely, leisurely. Yolanda, welcome aboard. We got to put Yolanda's chip in. I think it's here. Yep, you're in, Yolanda. Poker. How did the game of poker get that name? This could be good. <laughs> the name, the game is German in origin, and gets its name from the German "poken," meaning to boast or brag. Though a literal translation is to knock. A knock is still used in poker to indicate a past bet. And the game still includes considerable bragging. But the game seems to have been introduced into this country through New Orleans. Where due to its similarity to the French game of Poké, it acquired that name. Southern gentlemen who played the game but were untutored in French pronunciation gave it two syllables, polka, which is very similar to their pronunciation of poker. Northerners, me, damn Yankees. <laughs> Northerners who learned the game from these gentlemen quite obviously deduced, therefore, that it was spelled the same. In other words, P-O-K-E-R. Now that's interesting. Barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> he poked Lady Gaga. That's right. Yeah. I've made that same mistake before, too, Kobe. <laughs> yeah. Typing on my phone is atrocious. And you know what? Trying to type on the laptop when it's propped up behind the steering wheel? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> <coughs> But it's the only really comfortable place to put it when I'm in the front seat of the truck. And that's where the charging cable is because I don't have one long enough to reach into the camper. And this truck doesn't even have a cigarette lighter yet. There is one in it, but it's not hooked up. So I've got to hook that up and make sure that I can charge the phone and the laptop when I'm driving this. All right. Pop goes the weasel. What time is it? Five more minutes. Julius, yeah. Get the polka while playing poker. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think they sold liquor in front and poker in the rear. Just a store. I think in Nevada. I'm not sure. All right, pop goes the weasel. Where do we get the expression pop goes the weasel? When you sing, that's the way the money goes, pop goes the weasel. You're referring to the opening and shutting of a pocket book. Weasel or weasel skin was a popular slang name for a pocket book when the verse was written. Okay, one more. You finally <laughs> qualified. Not Tuesday night. Can't express my comeback. I'll go ahead, Bernie. Pope. How did the Pope get that name? This term comes from the Italian Papa, meaning, of course, Father. That's all it says. All right, so we're going to leave it there. We're going to double check that everybody's got a chip in. Tonight we have the uh, cactus cash word. I think we had that the other day, too. And then this one's kind of a bonus tonight. This is a $10 ticket for the uh, whoever, you know, makes a sentence and gets drawn. We're going to be doing $10 cash blast. So good luck to everyone. Oh, I may have to take a break and get more water here at some point, but I got enough for right now. Totally meant something else when I was in college. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. So, okay. I heard, I don't know, somebody was talking about it down here. Arizona Lottery, or maybe it's the Powerball. It's probably the same game that everybody plays across the country. I guess it's like a billion. I don't know. Thank you, Brene. Yeah, I, I'm feeling much more tanned. It feels great. I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. One of the campers said I needed vitamin A. I don't know why. She said for these skin tags. Okay, so I was supposed to get some vitamin A. I don't know. I don't really care. As long as they're not cancerous, I'm fine. All right. Is it shake and bake? Almost. Somebody's doing an 800 subscriber giveaway. Doing redneck things. Okay. Carol Walters, did we get you in? Oh, I've got little skin tags. I don't know if you can see it. Here and there. Mostly around my, my nipples. Or at least the one nipple. Um, I'm, let me double check. Yeah, no, you're not in, but now you are, Carol. There. Yeah, I can't seem to get enough water. All right. I'm shaking it up. Try some scrambled eggs mixed with cactus. Okay. <laughs> Hey, we're going to have an Easter egg hunt, so I will be hiding eggs for my fellow campers around me. There's only four total, including me. Who knows? Maybe on the weekend we'll get a few more. But yeah, there'll definitely be some eggs hiding in the cactus. <laughs> It'll be fun. I had a nipple. <laughs> yeah, here we go. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. All right, I have a chip in my hand. It's a white one, and it says Kobe. <laughs> Congratulations! All right, let's get these other ones out of the bowl for people who are going to make sentences. You know that's gonna happen. <laughs> All right. Pause. All right, we got those are ready. And then the other ones are on the other side if new people come in. Oh, a couple I missed. Sue's. Carol's, Phil's, and Gordon's, All right? And I believe I have a quarter. Yep, there it is. Buy Rocky a new toy. Okay, good idea. Well, Kobe needs money to go to Kenya and buy, buy us rhinoceroses, not rhinoceroses. Or hippopotamus. <laughs> All right. The first letter is a U. There's a U in humor. Well, that's an appropriate word for today. Or yesterday, actually. Urn has a U. Sauna has a U. Abundant. Acute. All right. That's it for use. There are two puzzles on the cactus crossword. A small one and a larger one. So I always refer to it puzzle one and puzzle two. What word did I pronounce? I don't know. 
hippopotamuses or rhinoceros I don't know. It's from a Christmas song. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Right, G. There's a G in Wrangler. I'm wearing Wranglers. Cutoffs. But I happen to notice the tag on it was Wrangler. Uh, I don't see any more Gs. Okay, letter number three is a Y. There's a Y in Shy. There's a Y in Die. A Y in Artery. And Myself. Dang, I'm getting a runny nose. Why is that? Okay, George Ann. Please have fun at work. I know your job's important there. I hope it goes well and that you don't have terrible emergencies there. Oh, you love it too. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> All right. The next letter, letter number four, is an I. There's an I in friend. And in nostalgia. And guess what? There's an I in safari. It's on here, Kobe. So you're going to win, probably. Not only did you win the ticket, but it's got one of your favorite words in it. Safari. There's an I and olive. Okay, letter number five, and then you're going to get two words from this ticket. But there's no I in team. <laughs> yeah, we've all heard that one before. <laughs> okay. We're working on the letter D. There's a D and die. And sled. There's a D in abundant and panda. I always, when I, the word panda, I always think of Aja, pandemonium. <laughs> oh. Okay. We need two words. One of them is going to be nostalgia, and the other is going to be safari. <laughs> i got to write it down. Did you get that, Linda? Nostalgia and safari. Okay. Nostalgia and safari. Make Make a make a sentence and you'll get your chip in the bowl for the next drawing. It was made just for you. Yes, it was. So Linda's getting those typed up. There they are. Bingo. Two words are on the screen. And Kobe's in. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. Tell the puppy to be quiet. Okay. Well, or where'd the quarter go? There it is. The next letter is a K. There's a K in knee. Uh, K, K, K. That was the only K, apparently. Next letter is a P. That bird probably shut up. So maybe the dog got to it. <laughs> Jim got back on my African safari with much nostalgia. That's a good one, Jim. Where is Jim's thing? Right there. You are in, Jim. 
Okay, keep losing the corridor. Yeah, no kidding. A true statement. All right, P, we're looking for P. Amp, like an amplifier, amp. Panda has a P. Bird's back. <laughs> okay, L is our next letter. Sled and Wrangler. Elps. Olive. Wolf. And myself. Something in the oven, Jill. Okay. You're not pregnant. It's a breathtaking word, and you won't believe how close you'll get to the animals. Oh, yeah. That sounds so cool. You know, maybe you'll see ostriches. Ostrich. What's the plural for ostrich? I think it's ostrich. You can find out if they're evil or not. And what's the other ones that's like an ostrich? An emu. <laughs> I don't know if they have those in Kenya. Okay, the next letter is Q. There are no Qs. Letter number 10 is J. It's a J in abject. Okay, just checking the phone for the heck of it. <gasps> oh, spilled my water. Actually, I tipped it over, but it was closed. Phone's getting dirty. <sighs> Tina, no. Talked to her briefly this morning. Well, not talk, just, just a, what you call it, come on, bang fly, shift smart, Amazon, social YouTube, the same old stuff, so nothing important don't look like. Ha <laughs> Dog stole a rack of ribs from their neighbors. <laughs> Cute. Okay. I think I'm caught up there. Put this back in the shade. All right. They actually canceled one of our safaris on day one, so they were bringing us to a local village that gets this. It's famous for Kobe Tough bead and leather. Wow. Now that's it. <laughs> what a coincidence. Oh, did Bernay have a sentence? A hotel near Nairobi called the Ostrich Farm where you can ride an ostrich and they serve ostrich-based dishes. That's interesting. You sure you want to ride an evil bird, Kobe? <laughs> Big black cat lay on my lap. Oh, cute. Nostalgia. Ah, surfing safari. Gotcha, Bernay. You're in. Let's all go to Surf and Safari. Let's all go to Surf and Safari. Da 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 All right, M is our next letter. Ugh, I may have to blow my nose here pretty soon. Okay, Amp and Humor have an M. Is that the only M? It looks short. Oh, no, there's one. Myself has an M. Eyes are kind of drying out. I may have to use the eye drops. Okay, next is an H. <laughs> right in the morning, rough ride. <laughs> yeah, imagine the content. Exactly. 
Have an ostrich steal your pizza. <laughs> H. You know, I wonder if the Kenyans do they is is pizza a popular dish in Kenya? I think not. So maybe you can introduce them to pizza or Patsy's. What am I looking for? H. Okay, humor has an H. Chai has an H. Aha has an H. And I think that's it. All right. Next letter is an R. Kenny, welcome aboard. You found that thing on Google Maps. All right, cool. Kenny, Kobe's going to Africa soon. R, Wrangler. The words you need to make a sentence out. Oh. I got. I forgot to give you a word, the third word. So the third word is going to be else. E-E-L-S-E. -E. That's an easy one, but it's all right. Once in a while, it's okay to have an easy one, right? So Linda... The third word is else, E-L-S-E. If you could type out all three words, we'll get them up there on the screen. Um, looking for R's. There's an R and Wrangler, actually two R's, plus a cactus. That's a free space. Friend, earn, and humor. Oh, unicorn. Hey, uh, you probably won't find any unicorns in Kenya. Safari has an R. Artery has an R. Free has an R. So Timmy, Kobe's going to Africa, and he's going to go on safari and... A few other places. It sounds like it's going to be a blast. The nostalgic safari, or else. That's right, Jim. That's a good sentence. <laughs> Who should we give that to? Let's give it to Linda. She's been so patient with us. More passports. <laughs> okay. What else do you do on a nostalgic safari? So Sonia's in. Where's her chip? There it is. <laughs> Good. How are you? Um, something, something's not right here on my chat. Quiet listener. Felt the nostalgic. Where is, I know her chip is. There it is. I got you, Vicky. Um, welcome aboard, too. Support that 150. What? Okay. I don't know what you mean there. To me, an Alfie electric tricycle. <laughs> That's cute. Nostalgia of the safari. Okay, gotcha now. Anyways, I think we still need the three words. I don't know if Linda heard me. Do we have the three words? Killed by an ostrich. There it is. Okay, thank you, Linda. Okay, going on. Oh, wait. Shoot. William, what? Absolute. Thank you, Vicki. 
missed something. I missed. Okay. I think I'm caught up now. All right. Whew. I think we're done with ours. Wait, there's an R in artery. Okay, now we're done with ours. The next one is a V. V. I do not see any Vs. B. There's a B in abundant and abject in oboe. Okay, Kobe. Letter number 15 is a Z. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Well, so far, that's cute. Z. I do not see any Z's, but now it's already time for another word because I goofed up there a few minutes ago. Let's go with hmm. Let's go with exit, E-X-I-T, exit. I so want to meet Vicky and do music. All right. Um... Next letter is an F. There's an F in wolf, and there's an F in free. They share that F. Okay, did Linda get the fourth word? The fourth word is exit. Let me scroll up here a minute. She may have done it. Okay. I think I am caught up. Just we need the last word to put up on the screen, which is exit. So we have nostalgia, safari, else, and exit. You can make a sentence using any two, any three, or all four. All right. Uh, the next letter is an E. There's two E's in the word knee and two E's in the word else. Sled has an E. Die has an E. Friend has an E. By the way, um, we missed the F and friend, and we spelled one word so far in puzzle number one. We also missed the D in the word friend. Anyways, we spelled die, D-Y-E, in puzzle number one, and we're still looking for the letter E. Obo has an E. Abject has an E. Uh, wave, I think. I don't know. It's got that cactus free spot in it. Acute. Artery. Exit. Olive. Myself. And free. And we spelled the word free in puzzle number two. Yes. F is for things, friends who do stuff. Felt the nostalgia of the safari in my electric trust. I made a quick exit when a giraffe came running after me. That's cute. Exit your nostalgia dunk, else you will be lost in the safari memories. <laughs> All right. 
Second to the last letter is an A. Well, that's a good letter to have, along with the E especially. So we got uh, A in Wrangler, an A in Sauna, two A's, an A in Abject, Abundant has two A's, Safari has two A's, Uh, Panda has two A's, Wave has A, Nostalgia has A, two A's, Acute and Aha, so we spell Aha, so we now have two words on Puzzle 2 that are spelled, Aha and Free, And then puzzle one, we have one word so far that's spelled, which is die. We have one letter left. No, I'm not babysitting, Joe. Oh, you're probably talking to somebody else. <laughs> Platypus. C is our last letter. There's a C in unicorn, but that doesn't help us. No ends. C. There's a G in nostalgia that we miss. A C in acute, but we don't have the T. I think we might be done here. We're going to double check. Is, are there any S's? I don't see any S's. Wrangler needs the W and the N. And we don't have either one. Else needs the S. No S. No N's. No T's. No O's. Obo needed a couple O's. Nostalgia is a long ways from being spelled. Acute, no, there's no T. Artery, no T. Myself, no S. Exit. We did not have the X or the T. Wolf, we did not have the W or the O. Olive, no O. So, this one, unfortunately, Kobe is a loser. I hate to say it, but not a winner. Now, check the phone. Ostrich meat is delicious. Lynn, I am in Parker, Arizona. And I did schedule work through Tuesday. So, if everything works out the way I hope, Wednesday the 3rd, I will be leaving Parker. Probably pretty early in the morning. I, I need to be in Texas. I would like to be in camp in Texas by the 6th. So it only gives me three days to get there, basically. Down here in the deep blue sea. All right. It is 426. So... The four words are Nostalgia, Safari, Else, and Exit, even though Exit isn't up on the screen. So you still have time to make a sentence and get in the drawing for the Cash Blast, which is a $10 ticket. <laughs> Gord's taking his ostrich and he's going home. Pack up your ostrich clothes and go home. <laughs> My mom used to say, I'm packing up my doll clothes and I'm going home. <laughs> Let me double check here. I did hear this thing ding. And it just dinged again. Having a non-toxic, supportive, matured circle of friends is a blessing. True. That was from Rachel. 
She always has something good like that every day. And her mom does too. Rachel is Tina's daughter. All right. Okay, I'm caught up. I don't know what that beep was. No idea. Nostalgia so far. There we go. Thank you, Linda. So, have anybody seen Paula or knew he was husband recently? Yeah. Uh, they were on live the other night. Well, Paula wasn't. But Nate was on last Wednesday. And he's on tonight again. So, we will be raiding Nate and I'm sure Paul is around there somewhere. But we will be rating them in basically half an hour from now. So stick around, Len. You can ride over there with us. <laughs> oh, goodness. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't know how to make anything what Linda says on the screen. Oh, yes, you do, Timmy. You can come up with something. Ostrich, it tastes like filet mignon. If you say so, Joe. I would think it would taste like chicken. I'm not joking, because it's really just a big old bird. It seems like it would be like turkey or chicken or... <laughs> Watch Land Cloud Adventures in 30 minutes. Another pop-up, Endless RV. Oh, no, Try the first filet mignon again. Clues. <laughs> what to write. Okay, I'm sure Jim or somebody will give you something. Kobe didn't want to come on tonight, but I had to talk to friends. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, he's excited. Going to Kenya? Absolutely. Got the cone off. He's been psycho ever since. <laughs> kind of a beef flavor? Okay. Poor baby, blame the cone. Yeah, blame the cone. Oh, wow. Excuse me. I don't know if I'm going to work on the truck tonight or not. Peel stickers off of it. <laughs> anyway, I was going to swap out the batteries. Yeah, I'll probably still do that. Because it's a possibility we may may drive this in the morning. A beef tongue eater and a ribeye lover. Okay. In about five minutes, we're going to do a shake and bake. There's not that many in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. People better make some sentences. Okay, tongue eater. <laughs> That's funny, Jill. Yeah, yeah, we'll be doing that at 8 o'clock over at Nate's. Oh, 
Oh, I get it. Yes, I'm very glad you're here, William, as well. More than you possibly know. Okay, um, beef tongue makes the best beef and noodles. Timmy wants Nancy to do a sentence for him. <laughs> I don't know if she's done a sentence for herself yet, Timmy. Yeah, Nancy's chip is still sitting here. Yeah, it's pretty close, Joe. I'm giving it a few more minutes so that a couple more people can get in. It's like I say, there's only like six people in. Did you make a sentence, Joe? Your your chip is still sitting here. I mean, I may have missed people's sentences. So if you made a sentence, just tell me, and I'll make double sure that you are in the pot for the next drawing. I don't know what that was all about. Maybe she just didn't. Uh, the letter is uh, P, Lynn, but the words that you need to make a sentence out of, oh, my goodness. Uh, they're not up on the, shoot. Let me scroll up. Linda made the sentences, and for some reason, I must have hit the wrong thing. There's supposed to be four words up on the screen, and now they are. Nostalgia, safari, else, and exit. So, Lynn, if you make a sentence using any two, any three, or all four of those words, you can get your trip in the pot. Yolanda and Lee are home now. Cool. So, no more traveling for a while? Paul starts with a P. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can read off who I have. I have Fairy Dust, which is Brene, Linda Parker, 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 I have Jim Foster, and Kobe, Quiet Listener, which is Vicky, and Hare, and Sonia with a J. That's one, two, three, four, five, six chips so far. Well, I don't know what this is, but I don't know this channel. It just pops up. Can't make sense today. <laughs> okay, Jill. Yolanda's trying to come up with a sentence. Red pond. I know what you mean, will you? Or Yolanda. <laughs> Nate Dog, welcome aboard. Just sometimes you hurry up and make a sentence out of any two, any three, or all four of those words next to Linda's name on the screen, we get you in the drawing. I have your chip here somewhere. No. I saw it earlier. No. Oh. There it is. I got Nate Dog's chip ready. Very good, Kobe. I'll put Timmy in. <laughs> there. No, Lynn, I did not see your sentence. But I'll 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 believe you. I got your chip right here. Nostalgia made me run to the exit. That's a good one, William. Let's see. Where's his? Right here. Brody, Brody. No, that's Grand Marais. Check. Where is... Where is Williams? 
I know it's here somewhere. It's Justin and Christina. All right. Oh, there it is. I got you, Bill. William. Ostrich will eat you up. Good one, Yolanda. Got you. In. Your eyes. Come on, these are good shorts. Long shorts. You hope Carol doesn't win. She's not even in them thing yet. She hasn't come up with a sentence. Moobs. Okay, Sonia with a J. <laughs> Trying to see where I think Phil had to leave. I'm not positive. Carol Walters' ship is still here. George Ann had to leave. I know that. She had to go to work. Mine was exit the building or else go up into flames. I like that. But, of course, you are in. Okay. We're going to go with... I'll tell you what. If we hurry on that scratch off, we'll still be able... We'll have time. Children and birds... <laughs> Actually, these are Joe's neighbors. <laughs> um, the one, I forget, there's like a dozen children, like six of their own and six adopted. Yeah, big family. And then, of course, they have playmates that come over. There's a basketball hoop across the way here. and There's a lot of activity going on, especially after school. No, it's not really a park. It's just end of the street cul-de-sac. Um, as I said, the one house here is, they've got like six children. And Joe and his family, they're not home right now. Um, Joe was down in Yuma at a meeting, and then he was going to go to Home Depot after that. He probably won't get here until like 7, 7.30. I'll be gone by then. And then I'm going to get with him at 8.30 in the morning, and we're going to run over to the DMV and see if he can't get something going paperwork-wise on the Chevy that's sitting behind me. Well, let's pray that it does, because I really only have until basically Tuesday, and i got to work on Tuesday, by the way. But, you know, I want to leave Wednesday. I wanted to leave Monday, but I put it off to Wednesday. You want Carol to win? Can I revoke my sentence for Timmy? <laughs> That's funny. Well, if you want Carol to win, we need to put her in. Jim probably made an extra sentence anyway. So there, Carol's in. <laughs> and Lynn is in. Nancy Drew is not in. Where is she? There's a few others. I mean, well, Jill said she's not. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if Sonia with a J came up with anything. I'm going to put her in. <laughs> Is Diane still here? Did she make a sentence? Well, I'm going to give it three more minutes, William. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia with a J. Like the sun hit me just right. It happens. Oh. oh, okay. 
Well, then, well, I was remiss. I must have not put your chip in, but you're in. And Jill made a sentence. Okay. Jill is in. And Nancy Drew is in. I, see, I didn't see any of these sentences. I must have been busy scratching or something. Yeah, you know, William, I came basically, you know, I have a sister, but I did not grow up with her. She was 17, basically by the time I started remembering being a child, she was already gone. <laughs> so she was raised as an only child, and so was I. So small family. And just dump all the chips in. There's over 100 chips here, Jill. Um, so yeah, I've always been kind of fascinated with large families, but now that I'm older, I kind of enjoy the fact that I come from a small family. I don't know. My sister and I, we don't have, our, our last cousin passed away about six years ago, maybe, something like that. We don't have any cousins. We, you know, only our children are carrying on our own names. So, oh, I don't need to put myself in. One happy, chaotic, crazy family. You're right, Kobe. We are. Look at my text messages. My phone hasn't beeped. Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Got me on the big screen TV. Thank you. Thank you, Timmy. <laughs> All right. It's time. chip in my hand. Uh, it's a black chip. And it's none other than Timmy Ray. <laughs> Congratulations, Timmy. Who knows? This is a big $10 one. It's not a white chip draw again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Kobe. Sometimes it happens that the same person wins. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> All right. There's bonus numbers on here, and then there's match numbers or symbols. Yeah, symbols. So the numbers are we have a 26, and Timmy's number is 42. We have a 35. 41. Doesn't work. Uh, winning number is 4. I do, Lynn. They're all grown up. Um, I have three of my own and three stepchildren, two adopted. Um, so, but I'm down to uh, uh, I, I, my oldest daughter passed away last year. Um, 16 and 47, not a match, 49, not a match. Okay, the last winning number is 15, and Timmy's got 33. Now we can go through the next 15 numbers pretty fast. That's right, Kobe. Made a sentence for you, Timmy. <laughs> All right. Uh, six does not a match. 39, not a match. The birds are still noisy. 16 is a match. We'll keep going. See if there's any more matches. So we know we have a winner of at least 10 bucks. 
uh, 13, I don't see, 28, not a match. Oh, there's an automatic win. So we've got two wins on here, might be $20 worth so far. 14 does not a match. 19, not a match. 25, not a match. 22 is not a match. Okay, five more. There's a 48, does not match. 46, does not match. Four is a match. Okay, so you've got three matches so far. Well, let's see here. 40 does not match. And 24 is not a match. Okay, so we got, I think, three matches here. Uh, let me look. 16 is a match, and it is $5. Then automatic win is another five. Five dollars and four is also five dollars, so that's 15. And we have not scratched the bonus ones off. <laughs> All right, bonus you're supposed to get a money bag, you got an apple, and you got a handbag. And you got a pineapple. <laughs> and a watch. A bunch of grapes. And a bell. So no money bag there. But down below, you've got a match on three $5 winners. So that's $15, Timmy. Um... You can text me your address, and I'll get your money order sent out. So congratulations. Finally, somebody wins something. Is it upside down? <laughs> that the size will turn into threes, right? Yeah, the pup's been barking all afternoon. He just, I don't know if he's tied up outside the door. I don't know. I probably got your address somewhere, Timmy, but I wouldn't mind if you'd send it to me again because uh, it'd take me a while to find it. Should have revoked the sentence. <laughs> I hear what sounds like a dog barking through a, micro, a megaphone. Rawr, rawr. It's a weird sound. So, uh, in nine minutes, basically, we're going to raid Nate. Um, and I'll be on there. I think what I'm going to be doing is cleaning stuff up and getting ready to swap these batteries. Uh, and maybe fire this buff puppy up. Well, of course I am. It's got a nice sound to it. <laughs> yeah, that happens. It definitely happens. <laughs> Good one, Brene. <laughs> I can just see it now. Here, here's Timmy's address. <laughs> It would be a Los Angeles address. <laughs> That's hilarious. Definitely get these these off the table before they blow off. A little bit of a breeze has come up.
So the next few days, I got I got to work double shift tomorrow, and plus in the morning, uh, I'm going to go with Joe to the uh, DMV. It's also known as A dot here in Parker. See if maybe we can get some paperwork going on this truck. Um, and then I got to work. I won't get out of work until 7, so I'll probably go straight home to camp when I get out of work tomorrow. The train to Needles. Needles, California is, oh, I think it's about 100 miles north of here, something like that. Um, then Friday... Probably be here uh, working on the uh, fence and the gate. Uh, I believe Joe's getting the hardware for it tonight. And of course, Friday is Good Friday, so you know the uh, DMV will not be open until Monday. So then Saturday is Guest the Channel, and I do have to work also. So it'll be the morning show, and then I go to work for four hours, and then right after that will be the um, evening show for Guest the Channel. And I actually have not picked a victim yet, Timmy, so don't think you know. <laughs> I'll probably be picking one tonight or tomorrow so I can make sure I get permission. Twenty-two on board still. This is lovely. We're, go we're going to uh, all twenty-two of us. We're going to go raid Nate Land Cloud Adventure. And Linda, Linda did put up the, the link a couple times now, but I'm sure she can put it up one more time for us. And we'll go over there and show Nate and Paula some love. It'll be fun. To buy a porno VHS. <laughs> You're crazy, Timmy. <laughs> a fool in his money. You're right, Nancy. <laughs> Linda says, good idea. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> you guys are nuts. <laughs> Go to Oatman. See the gun duels and wild donkeys. Uh, I've seen wild donkeys. I didn't know they had gun duels in Oatman. They have it, I know, in Tombstone. Um, I've heard them. I have not not witnessed. They've moved the, the, the shootout at the OK Corral. They've moved it from Main Street over into another area of the town where it's kind of enclosed. and um, You definitely have to pay to be able to see it. One big happy crazy chaotic. Yes, you're right. It definitely is. <laughs> good one, Timmy. Those are good jokes. You know, we got to have fun. You know, you know we got to kind of, I don't know, temper our humor, I guess. But you know what? Most of the time, we just let it fly. And stereotyping or, I don't know, thought a lot, but ah, topic for another show someday. Uh, don't worry about the gun deals. They shoot blanks. It's not what we said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like happened to what's his name. Can you imagine that? I, I just cannot imagine it. You know, the gun's not supposed to be loaded and you aim it at somebody and you kill them. That just... When that happened, it struck me as somebody... Somebody had to have done that on purpose. Jokes are made for laughs. I'll be darned. Really? <laughs> I tell you, I wake up in the middle of the night laughing sometimes. Like last night, when I started to think about my parents, 
that wouldn't it be cool to be able to say to him, hey, mom, hey, dad, there's more stones around here than you can shake a fucking stick at. <laughs> I will say it's a little bit easier to dig the ground in Michigan. Yeah. Nancy Drew is watching Batman. Okay. I, uh, the only Batman one I haven't seen is Batman versus Superman. I don't know what that's all about. It doesn't even sound right. Ah. Right. That's correct, William. Okay. I say it's time. It's two minutes, too. I'm going to sign this off, and I'll see you over at Land Cloud Adventures. So in the meantime, I hope everyone has a good couple of days till we see you again on Saturday. And, of course, always have a good day. And with that, I'm saying fair winds and smiles. And, of course, may God bless. Thank you for being aboard. And I can't see... <laughs> End the stream. Okay. <laughs>